this demonstration we shall see how we can quickly update model parameters of an assembly document inside SOLIDWORKS environment by using autoconfigure. When we start SOLIDWORKS we shall see the autoconfigure user interface on the right hand side task pane. We click on the browse button and select the assembly file. Autoconfigure automatically loads the assembly file in the SOLIDWORKS environment. We can then click populate which allows autoconfigure to read the model parameters of this assembly file. Autoconfigure populates model parameters of all the referenced components inside this assembly. When we double click the name of the file in the grid, autoconfigure populates tabs corresponding to each kind of model parameters. For instance, there is a components tab which lists all the components present in this assembly. A features tab lists all the features present in various components. So you, a user can select a component from the list and autoconfigure will automatically list the features. It will also indicate the reference conf configuration of the component. The dimension tab lists all the dimensions and the dimension made parameters in, th in the list. And custom property tab uh, lists all the custom properties which are present in this assembly. Components tab allows users to modify and update the component information. For instance, if a user wants to suppress some of the components in the current configuration, then the checkbox corresponding to that component can be simply checked. Autoconfigure automatically checks for any dependent component and it also suppresses the dependent component. Similarly, a user can uncheck the is suppressed checkbox to unsuppress the component. User can also change the color of the component by clicking in the, comp in the color tab and selecting a color. The next column defines the current constraint status of the component. Moving to the features tab, a user can select any component from the list of components and can either suppress or unsuppress any of the features of this component or can change the color of any of the features of this component in this referenced configuration. The dimension tab allows the user to modify the dimension name and the dimension value of any of the dimensions of any of the features of any of the component in this assembly. Now this tabular interface allows the user to quickly update dimension values of any of the features. The user does not have to open any of the components in context and modify the feature and modify the dimension. The custom property tab allows the user to add or delete any custom property related to the model. Thus, this auto configure tabular interface is a simplistic method through which a user can quickly modify and update any of the model properties of uh, a SOLIDWORKS model. To learn more about the features of AutoConfigure, please visit www.auto-configure.com. Thank you.